Do you remember where you were? Where you were sitting when you heard? Whose classroom you were in when it all went down? Of course you do. It is unforgettable. A moment etched not just on your minds, but permanently in the annals of time. When that final bell rang here, back on March 13th, 2020, who would have ever thought that it would have come to this? That what was supposed to be a two-week hiatus would become something that we would still be dealing with now, 15 months later. That it would get so much worse. That the global pandemic that put our lives on pause would come to East LA, into our homes, and change our lives in ways once thought to be unimaginable. This new world that is so commonplace to us now would have been unthinkable at that time. Face masks and social distancing have replaced the handshakes and hugs that we now know we took for granted, but never will again. The sounds of our worlds changed from the chaos of life to the silence of our homes. Zoom calls and being six feet apart became the norm. Eating out, being with friends, Going to school? Not so much. But this new alternative life seems so regular, so normal to us now. So much so that we may have forgotten what our old lives even were. Do you really remember what it was like to get ready for school in the morning? The pride you felt just to get to go? Picking out your clothes the night before the first day? What else have you forgotten? Can you even remember what our campus looks like? Without you, haunted are our halls with the memories of days past. Our classrooms stood here vacant, symbols of a life we all knew and did not appreciate near enough. What was that old world like for us? What truths did it hold that elude us still today, replaced by the unfamiliar which is now familiar? The specter of that old life now walks these empty halls, replacing your chatter with the sound of silence. But a funny thing happened along the way from then to now. While we were exiled from our home here to our homes, we found something else, not wholly unique from what we want back, but certainly different. While holed up in our home seeking safety from that which we could not see, we were forced to rediscover those things, those people, those moments that surrounded us daily, that dwelled amongst us and our lives, but that we ignored because we were too busy with life. Found were our families, games, memories of moments long gone in our past. Reinvented were the ways we conversed with one another, spent our time with each other, and of course, how we went to school together. Crowded classrooms filled with friends were converted to flat, black, faceless screens. Our images replaced by small gray rectangles labeled only with our names. But what's in a name anyway, if we can't associate it with the person that it only begins to describe? We were separated by the powerful proxy of the pandemic. And as a result, voices became more distant and people more foreign. But the learning, while the learning changed, one thing did not. You never stopped doing it. For over a year, your education has persevered in this foreign environment of your own home. It welcomed in your teachers and your classrooms instead of the opposite. And while the process didn't change, how you learn did. You learned science and Spanish, but you also learned to multitask. 
to take care of siblings and read history, to help out parents and compose papers for English, to clean and do math. Extraordinary feats, all of them, and acts to be commended. And all the while we were away, our other home, our campus, this community of classrooms lay dormant, waiting for the moment when you would return. And like the coming of the spring season forecasting the winter thaw, so did you all return, slowly, differently, changed. But you've returned. And when you did, you brought life back to the place we call our home away from home. And on that late day in April of this year, over 400 days since it was last touched with life, our campus bloomed once again. Life returned to Garfield, to our community home. And for it, we are all the better. So long starved of the nutrients that come with seeing our students in person, Garfield came back to life. So too, like the songbirds after a winter away, returned the administrators, the teachers, the aides, the support staff, and all flowered with pride like they had never before gone because we were together here, and all was right again. Now the long task of normalcy lies before us, and we are once again forced to ask ourselves what that really means, for we can never truly move on from never leave behind, never outgrow, never forget that sickness which altered not only our year, but our lives for eternity. So what does the world mean now that we have seen our most basic freedoms encroached upon by something unseen and from so distant a land? How do we go on knowing what can happen to our lives and could again? How do we go on without all that we have lost? The answer is that we don't. We cannot live like we did before. To continue on like we always did in a world that no longer exists would be naive. We have sacrificed too much to just try and move on without always carrying with us a remembrance of those things now past. But two, we would be fools not to continue to live. Life is worth living for the freedoms that we have that we no longer ignore. Each day that comes will not be a day to idly while away and waste time doing nothing by. Now we know how precious each opportunity is that we have and how much life we must get out of each opportunity to live. The virus may be gone, but its memory is not. And so we will live on, always aware, never forgetting what was lost, but also in constant appreciation of the opportunities that lie before us. We will not, we cannot forget this year. It will shape the next one and the ones after that. But we, and Garfield, will continue on. You will move on to college and careers, and these halls will also be refilled with life. But we will never forget. Not you, not then, not ever. So conquer tomorrow with what you have learned from today, yesterday, and the past. Realize that these halls echo with your memories, even if you are not, even if you were not here the whole time. El futuro te llevará lejos. No olvides tu pasado. No te olvides de Garfield, porque Garfield nunca te olvidará. Never forget, because we are, you are, all this has been and always will be part of the unforgettable past that we carry with us. Born into the future, wherever we go forth, in whatever we do, in all that we will become. El pasado puede ser un prólogo. But the future is ours, now once again. Toma de la vida todo lo que puedas. Give to everyone all that you will. Love one another with all the compassion of a generation. Affected by one of life's great tragedies. Pero el amor que tienen por esta preparatoria jamás lo olvide. Thank you, seniors. Thank you, seniors. Thank you, seniors. Thank you, Garfield. And thank you all. Thank you.